All right, finally got my hands on it. Someone who's sending it in my country for once, the Yumi DG A9. Not the A9 Pro, which I already reviewed. This is supposed to be like a budget version of that phone. So we have three gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, weird combination, I know, the Helio G25 or the MediaTek 6762, and Android 11. So this is the first like cheap Chinese phone that has Android 11, so I'm really excited to see how that is. Oh, also I have a 5,150 milliamp hour battery. Oh, so it also comes with an infrared frame, I wonder. 6.73 inch display and a wide angle camera. So this is the green version. They, and they have blue or black, if I'm not mistaken. So this feels pretty plastic. It has like this effect. For $109, I guess it's okay. That yeah, phone overall feels decent in the hand. So yeah, we also get this TPU case, this pamphlet with which has our SIM ejector tool as well, and our manual, charging cable, USB-C nice, and our charging brick. This feels kind of light, but not too light, so I would trust this. Uh, sad display looks pretty decent. It's the same design we've seen for a long time now, but it works, you know. So the, the bezels are nice, the chin isn't even that big. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set this up and get back to you. Okay, so the frequency sensor is over here on the back, and actually feels a bit recessed, so I don't think you're gonna have too much trouble missing it or stuff like that so it feels like pretty recessed and the setup is also pretty quick as you can see and there you have it so here we go the phone is all set up the pre-installed screen protector is very uh, how do you explain it it's like very very hard to use because it's so um, not smooth i don't know the word exactly but like hard to navigate with the screen protector so i'm just gonna take it out and <laughs> Oh, that's so much better. So we have a smart key over here on the side. It automatically opens the infrared sensor. So, but we can change that as you can see. So single click is our thermometer. Double click, Zilio, long press open, open flashlight. So as you can see, you can customize this thing in literally any way possible. Oh, you also have two LED flashes. That's pretty cool. Okay, so while it's, oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, so this is a new Android 11 feature, I guess, so. It's just like I it's just like iOS now, so the pending apps you have downloaded are just gonna show up on the screen. So it's just like what iOS had for you, so that's pretty cool. I like that. I should let you guys know that this phone is pretty slow. So as you can see, like it's not the fastest, but for $109, it's perfectly fine. I mean it's gonna stutter, it's gonna lag, and it's not gonna be the fastest. It's not like in the flagships, you know, or the or more expensive phones like the Yumi G S5 Pro that's blazing fast. So setting, you know, you know it's, right now it's fine, but it's, but if you bought this phone, I just want to prepare you exactly what to expect. You know, I don't want you get getting this phones with like high expectations or something. All right, let's test our fingerprint unlock, then face unlock. Oh, okay, three, two, one. All right. Okay, I have to put it exactly how you set it up. So, I can set it up in a weird way, just to show the camera, so maybe that's why, but if I put it exactly how I set it up, you know, then it works perfectly fine. Yeah, it works pretty good. You just gotta make sure you set it up exactly how you're gonna pick it up every time, because if you don't, you're gonna be pretty annoyed. All right, face unlock. Oh, that was better. Close up. Okay, so right now, face unlock is pretty fast. I just don't know about day-to-day -day situations. My work might not, but for now, it works. All right, all of our apps have finished. Let's try Knife Fit first. Yep, as expected, it stutters pretty much with every single phone I review nowadays. This is without ads, because ads typically make this, these phones slow down. Oh, okay. Wow, that is way better. I did not expect that. Wow, look at that. Okay, so at first, knife it kind of uh, stuttered. But as soon as I disabled ads, it ran perfectly. It was like a maybe one minor stutter. 
but for the most part, if you manage to play Knife Fighter without ads on this phone, then you're gonna have a pretty good experience. So, okay, Wind Rider, not the highest frame rate, which is understandable, but this is like a, okay, it's 30 for a second. Yeah, but yeah, this is like a solid 30, 40 frames per second, which is also good, you know. Um, didn't even see that building, okay. If you're not used to like playing games at 60 FPS, I guess this is enjoyable. Because at least there's, there's no lag, no stutter. Runs perfectly for the specs this phone has. All right, so we were at PUBG. Um, okay, frame rate kind of stutter at first, but now it is running pretty good, I'm gonna lie. So right now there's no lag, no stutter. These are the lowest graphics, by the way. And yeah. Just to show you guys what I mean. Frame rate medium, graphics smooth. So when you first, it, when you first open this game, it's gonna ask if you want to download the low graphics pack or the high graphics pack and I got the low low graphics pack because this is a, a budget phone and as you can see like I was running around before at first it kind of started but as soon as it um, you know as soon as the game stabilized like the, the stutter completely disappeared and even right now as you can see it's there's no lag no stutter whatsoever so yeah you could definitely play PUBG on this phone probably any other like high-end game I just got to bump the graphics all the way to low so yeah, i think overall this phone is good for gaming okay we have a wireless update i see the only changes we have are optimization system okay nice english there minor bug fixes we're gonna postpone that update and continue on with the review now if you've seen my past reviews you'd know that i don't really like this from under it never really worked well for me so let's see how this one works sorry for the dogs barking we're gonna try with my hand out of range okay so when it's actually like physically touching my hand it detects my temperature so it's not really contact free like they advertise so see look at how close it do look how close it is and it doesn't detect my temperature so it's, it's pretty bad now i'm gonna do it again with touching 35 i want to try my forehead maybe that that's no contact nope forehead is the same thing and doesn't even work this time so you know this thing it barely works so i wish you made it you would just stop adding it i mean it's just a useless gimmick they use to advertise their phones at this point Okay, this isn't a pretty good example. Let's try another one. Okay, look at how, yeah, this is, this is what I mean. This phone get, is pretty laggy, look at that. Even the videos lag, look, did you see that? Alright, so the speaker isn't bad, it's pretty quiet, but at least there's no distortion, the quality is overall fine, um, for the price I mean, and we have, you have a headphone jack for those who need it, so I mean, speaker's decent I guess, but if you're in a loud environment, then it's probably going to be unusable. Alright, our camera everybody, so let's see, picture size, 14 megapixels, so that is our max resolution, we don't have, we don't have like a crazy, um, 64 megapixels sensor like you've seen on other phones, but that's fine. I never used that high resolution anyway. So I turned the watermark on, so as you can see, you can turn it on and off, so don't worry guys, you're not stuck with the Imidigi logo. Oh, okay, you can also turn it on for selfie video, so it's separate. So a selfie is um, 8 megapixels. Uh, Front-facing video at 720p, we can bump that up to 1080p, we're gonna do that. I don't know why this doesn't come like that uh, set up, and, but I, yeah, rear video, same thing. It's 720p, but we can change that to 1080p, so we're gonna do that. Oh, and our wide angle camera is 8 megapixels. So, yeah, let's take our first selfie. Let's go outside.
Okay, we're facing video on the Yumi Digi A9 for the HD. Uh, as you can see in the pictures, it wouldn't let me um, focus close up. You're gonna try this again. It just won't focus. I mean, for a budget phone, I can understand. Like, it's understandable. But for me, it's like a kind of a deal breaker because I need like close up focus for my job. I'm um, not gonna get into that. But as you can see, a video looks pretty decent overall. Front facing video on the Yumi Digi. On the Yumi Digi A9, also full HD, and on my end it looks a bit dark, but yeah, let me know overall what you think of the video quality. So that is pretty much it. So should you get this phone? Well, I'm gonna say for $109, it's decent. For like 100 more dollars, you can get way better phones. Or even 50 more dollars. Like I think the Yumi Day 9 Pro is way better. I forgot how much that is, but it can't be more expensive than this. So But then again, you know, this it it's not a bad phone. It does everything you want it to do. So, you know, it's not it's not a bad phone, is what I'm trying to say. If you do decide to get this phone. The only complaint I really have is that it's kinda slow and don't go in the comments like, oh, what do you expect? It's only a hundred dollars. I mean I've seen phones like they're it, it, at the same price or like $30 more expensive that are way faster than this so don't go in the comments seeing that stuff to me but overall it is a pretty good phone you know displays decent speakers decent performance is meh you know but for the price you can't really complain even though I did a little bit cameras are decent you know it's a pretty decent phone and for not a lot of money so if you have any questions even in the comments um not gonna be keeping this phone unfortunately because I gotta sell them make make my money back, you know. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.